गाइज दिस इज डेली विश हेयर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग बैक ऑन माई चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ऑसम इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द की कॉन्सेप्ट और द फाउंडेशन ऑफ नेवल गोडास टीचिंग विच इज सेल्फ लव एंड सेल्फ इमेज नाउ बिफोर एनी पर्सन इज एबल टू प्रैक्टिस इट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इट एक्चुअल एक्चुअली मीन्स ओके सो for the starters a self love is a state of appreciation of one self that grows from action that supports our physical psychological and spiritual growth it also means that you are having a high regard of your own well being and happiness it means taking care of your own needs and not at all sacrificing your well being to please other people it means not settling for less than what you deserve okay now it can mean something different from each person because we all have many different ways to take care of ourselves maybe for you you know going to a spa is very much essential or maybe for somebody else uh, having a good night sleep is very much essential let's decode the meaning of self love so for starters it can mean talking to and about yourself with love prioritizing yourself giving yourself break from self judgment trusting yourself being true to yourself and being nice to yourself and very important point setting healthy boundaries for yourself and then forgiving yourself for whatever reasons you are cursing yourself you need to forgive yourself and be true to yourself and nice to yourself many people associate self love with self care as well now these two are almost they go hand in hand because if you are taking care of yourself you are loving uh, yourself to practice self care let's go into the basic and understand what it means number 1 listen to your body what does this mean it means when you are you know 24/7 awake you are working so hard your body is tired your mind is not working properly your body is screaming for rest please listen to your body second uh, point is please take breaks from work and move and stretch what does this mean we are so much occupied in today's hustle bustle of the life that we forget that this body is god given and if this body is giving us support we also need to take care of our body we generally take our body for granted so whenever you are working just always remind yourself that you need to take at least 2 to 3 minutes of break in between just do normal moving around and stretching a bit that's more than enough third point is please put your phone down and connect to yourself or others and do something creative you may think that this is something you know this is just a waste of time but it is not trust me if you are going to detoxify yourself digitally you are going to see a huge change in your own personal behavior trust me on this i have tried it and it is going to help you so much to connect with yourself and with other people as well doing something creative is definitely going to help you in taking your mind off from the daily hustle bustle of life and it is going to set you free and make you more calm okay next point is please always make a healthy choice when you are eating do not take your food for granted do not just take food as something as a substance to just stuff your uh, stomach no it is something which is going to give you a long lasting life okay so please make a healthy choice whenever you are choosing food these are just some examples uh, of self care you can always include other things like for girls it is you know it is better to take a, a long day nap or uh, if you can just go out walk in the nature and listen to nature or even if you are going to get a spa done for yourself it is going to make you feel that you are worth it number 1 Number 2 is by making yourself a priority you are taking out time for yourself and you are loving yourself now let's talk about self love now self love means accepting yourself as who you are uh okay this is a deep one but please hear me out 
in this very moment for everything that you are do you accept yourself or do you still feel that no something needs to be changed or you are not good enough or you are not worth it if you are going to accept yourself the way you are it means accepting your emotions for what they are and putting your physical emotional and mental well-being first uh, okay now there is a very big question that what it actually means how do you define this self acceptance okay when you as an individual accept all your attributes be it positive or negative when you, when we are self accepting we are embracing every part of ourselves not just the positive things but also the negative things it is totally unconditional and you will recognize the weakness within you and you are fully accepting yourself so what nobody is perfect i established this fact that nobody is perfect in this world now it is up to me for my own well being for my own emotional uh, health what am i going to focus upon am i going to focus upon the bad things of myself as my attribute or i'm just going to accept it the way it is and moving on to the positive part and celebrate it do you understand if you are going to celebrate your positivity trust me you are going to create a huge wave within your own 3d okay when you start accepting yourself the way you are you would not be complaining anymore you would not be listening to the rest of the world who is going to tell you that no you have this problem or you have that problem or you are not good enough you are not deserving etc etc you will turn your deaf ear to them and you will embrace your own uniqueness you will start celebrating your own uniqueness okay now the important question is happens when you accept yourself well your mind becomes clearer number 1 and you are more focused and you would stop worrying about who you should be because you are celebrating the way you are you are celebrating who you are you would not be running and chasing a dream which is based on somebody else's attribute and you are able to help other people and see their problems as their problems not your own you will begin to understand the root of problems without judging them from your own perspective isn't it so amazing and you will see the world just the way it is that is why accepting yourself is a key to everything is a key to happiness and it is a key to live a long happy beautiful life now let's talk about this concept from the neville goddard's teaching okay so the person you project into the world is the person you believe yourself to be all right the way you see yourself it is actually affecting every area of your life am i right right everything you do say or perceive even think and feel it is ultimately a reflection of your own self image right your self image now what is self image your self image is the way you perceive yourself it's the belief you attach to your sense of self okay let's say for example i'm a good student or i'm a terrible student i'm beautiful or i'm ugly people love me or nobody even likes me do you see how you are creating your self image if it is positive it's definitely a big in fact two big thumbs up for you <laughs> but if you are creating a negative self image how are you going to change it well the most powerful way you can start changing your life is by breaking down and understanding your own self image and then improving it day by day and how you can do it by sitting down with yourself and start talking what is bothering you what do you think about yourself make a list of your positive qualities and your negative qualities and start breaking down why do you feel that okay now i am going to give you i'm definitely going to help you out with that i'm going to give you affirmations which may trigger strong feeling in you depending upon what kind of self image do you have these feelings 
you need to listen to them because these feelings could be attached to your beliefs that stem all the way from your childhood why childhood i'm talking about childhood because that is the time when you first started to form your self image let me explain more so in our childhood we form our ideas about ourselves based on what we learn from others which is which is i'm talking about our parents typically our parents have the largest impact and not just parents it also goes to all other family members as well as to the teachers as well as to our uh, you know friends and even the neighbors etc etc they all play a major major role creating our self image when we grow up we tend to allow other people judgment of us for how we think they are judging us affect how we view ourselves for example if a child is fat okay even if the child is uh, you know topper in his class the rest of the people are teasing him because he is a fat child and what do you think do you think the child is going to focus on how good his grades are or is he going to focus on how fat he is getting you tell me and not only this this whole thing has actually impacted his whole life because that person is going to be always self conscious about his body i'm talking about myself here i'm giving about my example only because i used to be a fat child okay and this has impacted me a lot i am still very conscious about my body it is not at all accepting for me and i have to sacrifice so many things because i am too conscious to you know get fat again i do not want to relive that memory okay we start judging ourselves the way we think society judges us while we may feel this is for our own protection however it is not it is for our highest good things that are for our highest good always uh, emerge from your inner state of self love and compassion you are judging your own self you are only limiting your own potential so who is at loss it is you right <laughs> nobody else is at loss it is you who is taking everything so personally so now let's let's come back to the affirmation part so as you use these affirmation which i'm going to give you in uh, just a while uh as you go about your daily life just pay very very deep attention to your inner dialogue which you keep on doing without even realizing it specifically look at the way in which you judge or criticize yourself something doesn't match with your self image you start judging or criticizing yourself immediately without even dropping a second right now is this how you would talk to someone you love or hold dear tell me maybe let's take an example of your best friend do you do you feel okay when your best friend is uh, upset no you would ask why he is upset you would uh, you know do every possible thing to cheer him up in the same exact manner you have to feel that you too are equally significant okay you have to start pepping uh, yourself up by giving yourself some pep talks and motivational talks and changing your self image through these uh, affirmations okay now let's start with my uh, favorite one this is i treat myself with respect i treat myself with respect I show compassion towards myself in all situations. I show compassion towards myself in all situations. I love every aspect of my being. I love every aspect of my being. My self-confidence roars like a lion. My self-confidence roars like a lion. I trust in my capabilities. I trust in my capabilities. I am beautiful and pure inside and out. I am beautiful and pure inside and out. I am my priority. I am my priority. I love myself unconditionally. I love myself unconditionally. I never judge myself. because i'm always understanding 
I never judge myself because I am always understanding. I accept myself fully in this present moment. I accept myself fully in this present moment. Nothing is needed to validate my existence. Nothing is needed to validate my existence. I deserve the happiness of both the worlds. I deserve the happiness of both the worlds. The world is lucky to have me. The world is lucky to have me. Yes, these are all a really, really nice. While saying out loud, even I was feeling so much better. So I hope these affirmations are uh, going to help you out in your uh, self-image and your self-love as well. So start creating your self-image the way you want it to be. Okay, do not listen to anybody else. It is your life. It is your self-image. Whatever you decide for yourself, it is what is going to happen in the future as well so in this context i hope you found this video quite helpful in case if you did do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i come up with lots and lots of really interesting stuff with regards to neville goddard's teaching and right now we are doing affirmation part so uh, tomorrow i'm going to bring you another topic which is definitely going to help you out in manifesting your areas different areas of your life whatever you desire and uh, yes that's it i'll be meeting you tomorrow until then please do take care of yourself and happy manifesting